If you ask any single Ravens fan, hey, what's your biggest fear when it comes to wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr.? I think every single one would have the exact same answer. Every single one. They would say injuries. They would say, I'm scared that he's going to get hurt. I'm scared he may tear his ACL. I'm scared that he's going to face some kind of injury. And then we won't have Odell Beckham Jr. for a specific amount of time. That is my biggest fear. I'm, I'm sure everyone would say the same thing. And I get it. I, I get it because it is a legitimate thing to be concerned about. Uh, because when you look at his history from his rookie year, he had missed significant time uh, over the course of his career due to injury. Yes. Um, so I, I get it. I, I get why a lot of Ravens fans are they're cautiously optimistic when it comes to Odell Beckham Jr. But at the same time, I am surprisingly happy uh, that the Ravens, they didn't move with caution when it came to bringing in Odell Beckham Jr. Because something that the Ravens have been doing for years, for a very long time, especially at the wide receiver position, they move with extra caution. They do not take risk. Because what they'll do, they'll make safe signings. And what I mean by a safe signing, like a Deshaun Jackson, they signed him during this year. Expect 35-year-old wide receiver. He had just been sitting out there. Expectations were super low, and it was like one of those things where, hey, if, if, so, if he makes some plays, if it works out, great. But if it doesn't, right, hey, we, we ain't pay no money. So, okay, it is what it is. That's fine. Sammy Watkins, not only last season, but a couple of seasons ago when they brought him in. Safe. Again, one-year one year deal for six mil, five mil guaranteed. Safe signing. Hey, if Sammy makes some plays, great. But if not, hey, we ain't really spend no money there. Seth Roberts, Willie Sneed, Dez Bryant. The list, it, it goes on. And we could go on forever about this list, uh, which we already have. But then with, with Odell Beckham Jr., the Ravens were like, you know what? We're not going to do the safe signing anymore. And I like that because when you see the history of a lot of these safe signings, these solid signings, they ain't been moving nothing. They ain't been moving nothing recently. So I, I do really appreciate how the Ravens are really stepping way out of the box. You, you see this box right here, this, this camera box? Ravens are stepping way out of it. And that's exactly what they did with bringing in an Odell Beckham Jr. and the type of move that it was because it was extremely uncharacteristic of these Baltimore Ravens for the not only to, to sign Odell Beckham Jr., but the way that they signed Odell Beckham Jr. First, let, let's talk about the guaranteed money, which, again, I, shout out to y'all, um, because I, I hadn't even realized that uh, during the video, I hadn't even realized that when we first signed Odell Beckham Jr. and we were recording, um, we were like, oh, yeah, we probably think it's going to be like nine, nine, 10 mil guaranteed. It ain't no way it's going to be 15 mil guaranteed. Ain't no way. Uh, and that was before the contract details came out. So later on in that same video, I looked at my phone and the details had come out and it was 15 mil guaranteed. Um, but the way that the Ravens did that, that is unheard of. That's unheard of for the Ravens. So to uh, receive 15 mil guarantee, like if it was a, a, a three year deal, a four year deal, and it was 15 mil guarantee, oh, okay, I, 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 I get it. We get it. But a one year deal, well, a one-year deal. That's 15 mil guarantee. Oh, that's so unraven like They don't do stuff like that. Who, who are these ravens? We don't know who they are. But I'm happy to meet them. Because, again, that shows like, hey, look, we're not about to get into a bidding war. Because, you know, especially at a wide receiver position, if ravens got to get into a bidding war for a wide receiver... Ravens would be like, hey, uh, five mil, five mil, five mil going once, five mil going twice. Oh, next team says six mil. <laughs> okay, y'all got it. We're done. Ravens ain't getting into no bidding war for no wide receiver. No, of course not. But what they did with them, again, stepping out of the box, they gave Odell Beckham Jr. an offer that he couldn't refuse. And I like that. Now, another thing that they did which is very uncharacteristic of the Baltimore Ravens. 
And they've been doing, they did that with a couple of deals this year. Four years. Oof. And I, I still don't know completely how they work, but I do know with void years, they allow you a little more flexibility in that first year. Well, before the void years hit, they allow you flexibility uh, on the cap. They allow you flexibility to, to, to bring down a player's cap hit with the more void years that you put on the back end of a contract. Now, there is risk involved in that. Because if you cut that player or if that player reaches those void years, then the, if, if you don't restructure or you don't sign them to an extension and you still got those void years, and then there can be a lot of dead money on your cap. A lot of it. Significant amount of dead money. But the Ravens this year, they've been using them void years. And they sure did with Odell Beckham. I think it was, uh, what, four void years on there? So it's, 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 he signed to a, a one-year deal. And... He got the, the the four void years on the back end of it. You know what? Let me just um let me pull it up. So it's a one year a one year deal. Yeah, in in four void years uh, in 2024, 2025, 2026, and 2027. So if he's not on the team next year, so he just plays this year, not on the team next year, then it would be uh, 11 mil in dead money and dead cap. 11 mil if he's not on the team next year. So Ravens are like, they stepping out there with this. And I love it because while there is the fear, and, and it is, again, like I said, it's a legitimate fear that, hey, Odell Beckham Jr. with the injuries and stuff, I don't know about that one. But then you could look at it on the flip side and you could be like, well, yeah, Odell Beckham Jr. has had his injuries. He certainly has, and it's something that's concerning. Um, but Odell Beckham Jr., he also – had a surgery to get it right because he had a prior surgery and it wasn't right. He's played on it while it wasn't right. He still made plays on it while it wasn't right, but then it fell apart. Fell apart at the worst time too in the Super Bowl. But he had the surgery to fix it, but not only did he have that, he had an, over an entire year, over an entire year to get it right. Marcus Peters, you know Marcus Peters, two years ago, uh, he had the season-ending injury. Of, uh, it was just the, the worst year re in recent memory for injuries. It was just crazy. Um, both him and Gus Edwards injured on the same day in practice. But with Marcus Peters specifically, um, I think it was his Achilles. I don't remember if it was his Achilles or AC. I think it was his Achilles, but whatever it was, Marcus Peters lost for the year that season. I think it was 2021 season. He was lost for the year. So he was out the whole year, had his surgery, came back in 2022, this past season. How was Marcus Peters play? Especially compared to the Marcus Peters that we know. How was Marcus Peters play this past year? It, it was rough. He did have some nice moments or whatnot, but overall it was, it was pretty rough. It was pretty rough. He didn't have a year off. He didn't take a year off from his surgery or from recovery. He had a surgery, came back the following season, and he just didn't look the same. Now, I, I, it could be, some of that could be attributed to age, but a lot of it could also be attributed to just not bouncing back the right way. Not feeling completely yourself because you may be second guessing like, oh man, is my leg gonna hold up and am I, am I gonna be straight? So with Marcus Peters, whether it's for the Baltimore Ravens or it's for another team, this upcoming season, I would expect a much better Marcus Peters because he will, have been, he will be a year removed from the surgery. So with Odell Beckham Jr., it could be the same thing. It can be the same thing. Again, they, there's still going to be that fear. I know anytime Odell Beckham Jr. gets t tackled, anytime he goes down and it looks kind of awkward, I know Ravens fans are going to gas and be like, <gasps> and it's going to be scary. It's going to be scary. But it's part of the game. It's part of the game. You just got to hope that he ends up staying healthy. Now, an another thing that could work in his favor um, with Odell Beckham Jr. is him not having to be the guy. Hopefully these Baltimore Ravens, they can really uh, establish Rashad Bateman as the guy. And with Rashad Bateman, we know he's had his injuries as well. 
Um, but his injuries have been freak injuries. Because he's a healthy guy in college. He's a healthy guy. Lamar Jackson, he's had his injuries. His injuries also freak injuries. He was a healthy guy in college. He's never been an injury-prone type of guy. Neither has Bateman. So we'll see now with, uh, with Steve Saunders being removed from his position if things are different or if it was just all coincidence or whatnot. We'll, we'll see. Um, but with Odell Beckham Jr., if he doesn't have to be the guy, then that would mean less would be put on his plate. And you could, I'm sure Rashad Bateman would love to take that. But this is another reason why I'm hoping that the Ravens aren't done. I know we talked about DeAndre Hopkins yesterday. And whether that ends up just being a pipe dream, which probably will be, but, hey, it ain't over till it's over. <laughs> like, that's, why, that's why I love Rich Eisen so much. Cause he say, go for it. Go, yeah, call up them Cardinals with DeAndre Hopkins. I'm like, yeah, Rich, yeah. So, and Ravens, hey, they, they shown, like, hey, we, we doing the void years. We willing to move this money around and whatnot. I said, oh, yeah, go for that high risk because you will potentially get a high reward. And, hey, if stuff doesn't work out, then you really tried. You, you really tried. Like before, especially at wide receivers, there, there was the whole, oh, yeah, we tried to get him. We tried to sign him. We tried to trade for him, but it ain't go through. Now I appreciate that Ravens are moving to a different level of trying to where they land the player and they structure a deal that's a risky deal. But that, that's the real trying that I'm talking about. So good job. But you ain't got to be done yet. But that's another reason why I don't want them to be done yet because if you ask somebody else of significance, not just, oh, let's just grab this guy. Oh, grab the, no, no, no. You ask somebody else of significance, you can make everybody's job easier. And that would be, there would be less fear because everybody, their, their, their plate, what they got to carry on their plate is less. It's a lot less. Mark Andrews. Oh, man. <laughs> I remember, what was it, last season? Was season before? At one point, Mark Andrews, he was just tired. He was just tired. And I think he had got, maybe he got hurt too, but because everything is on him. As far as the pass catch, everything is on him. Because he was that guy. And it's not a bad thing to be that guy, but you want to have some other that guys around too. The more that guys you have, then they can become those guys. And that can make everybody that much better. Make everybody's opportunity, everybody's job that much easier. The other pass catches around you. The offensive line, because they got to block less because they, they, they got to block for less amount of time because you got more options out there getting open. Lamar Jackson, he can make quick decisions because people are getting open. He got more options to choose from. He's like, oh, the, the more the merrier. Oh, I'm with this all day. It just, it, it helps out everybody. Then <laughs> the defense, they're like, hey, we <laughs> We're going to play our hearts out, but we ain't got to keep getting our hearts broken because the offense can't score no points. But then the offense, on the flip side, they can be like, hey, defense, y'all <laughs> y'all got to stop these collapses. But, again, both, both sides can help each other. Both sides could definitely help each other a lot. So with, with Odell, uh, every, Ravens, every Ravens fan's biggest fear, it is, it is legitimate. But... There are ways to, to counter it that the Ravens can still make happen. And with Odell Beckham Jr., um, his legs are fresh. They're fresh. He's been off for a whole year. No football for a whole over a year. Over a year. He ain't do no preseason last year, no regular season stuff. He just had some workouts and whatnot and just was getting right over a whole year. So while he is, what is he, 30 years old? Yeah, I mean, your body, your, your body doesn't, like, stop aging or getting old or anything like that. But when you think about it in football terms, it's almost like you could take a year off from his football age because he ain't play. So 
Just something to think about. But team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And we're going to see how this thing works out. It's, it's, it's very exciting, man. It's very exciting to think about it. It's very exciting to think about uh, on Sundays or Mondays, Lamar Jackson, hopefully Lamar Jackson, uh, throwing Odell Beckham Jr., touchdown, Rashad Bateman, touchdown, Mark Andrews, some more touchdowns, uh, and just even Nelson Aguilar, touchdown. Like, it's, it's fun thinking about it. Devin DuVernay possibly getting used the right way. Because a lot of this is on Munkin, too. A lot of this is on Munkin because you can have the guys, but you got to use the guys the right way. You got to use them efficiently, play them to their strengths. And it's going to be so important that the Ravens do that, not only with Odell Beckham Jr., but with Rashad Bateman, with Nelson Aguilar, with Devin DuVernay, with Mark Andrews, with Lamar Jackson. The season is crucial. The season is uh, of the utmost importance. But so was last season, and the season before that, and the season before that, and the season before that. But this is big, man. But if the Ravens, they continue to make another move, a significant move at this position, then this season could get even bigger. I love that the Ravens took the risk. I love that they put themselves out there. And, some, and it's just like in life. It's like in life when you, and again, I know some people in the comments, they'll make fun, fun of me for, uh, for, for using relationships to compare to the Ravens. But, hey, that's, that's something that we can all relate to. If, if you're interested in somebody, if you're really interested in them, and again, y'all been talking, 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 and you're like, you know what? I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. I'm, I'm going to go. I'm going I'm to ask this girl out. I right, hey, would you like to be with me? And that's you risking it. That's you putting it all on the line. And like that, that saying they say, uh, wearing your heart on your sleeve. That's you putting it out there. Hey, I, I like you. I, I, I want to get with you. I want to be with you. And she can say one of two things. Yes, and then, oh, everything is great. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're together. Boom, boom, boom. Or she can say no. And then you can be crushed. But you risked it. You put yourself out there. And you just got to hope that everything works itself out. Team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And we out.